All right, guys, it's that time of the day. It's that time of the week. I'm taking Phoenix back. Say bye to everybody. Bye. Oh my gosh, he's getting so big. <laughs> Starting out the day basically uh, with nothing to do. What does Troy do when he has nothing to do? I come to my old shop and I grab scrap metal because $20 is better than no dollars, right? Unless I'm just filling the tank on the truck and then it's kind of pointless. Anyway, um, I got some scrap in here. This is possibly trip one of two, simply because I don't want to break my truck. That would suck. That didn't really rhyme, but it kind of rhymed. What is that called when things just kind of rhyme? It's not sight rhyme, is it? Anyway, got my cell phone, got my water, got my keys, got my truck, got myself. Let's do this. Mid-afternoon update, I guess this is what this is. So I dumped off the scrap. Can't remember if I filmed that. I came back. Can't remember if I filmed that. Went and picked up some more. No, I didn't film that. Went back home, took another job, and I'm going to that right now. So today has definitely been like a working day. Oh, it's been a Monday, I'll tell you what. In fact, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Fitbit, guys. It'll actually sit there and track your heartbeat and uh, track your exercise. So at one point today, it was saying that it noticed I was doing an aerobic workout. <laughs> That's how much I've been like freaking moving and busting my butt and getting things done today. It was crazy and yes, I was sweating, so it happens. Oh my goodness, so like I said, I'm gonna head to do the job now and then I guess I'm turning left onto the I-5 corridor towards Tacoma, Seattle, because it just told me to. So I better do what she says. All right, so the job I just got done with, I'm not actually done with yet, but I had to go back home because I've got to go to another job that was a last minute thing that I thought that I had time for that I don't have time for because I was working the other job and it took longer than expected. Ah, I'm driving my, I'm going crazy right now. All right guys, I'll explain in a second. Say goodbye to the futon. So there goes the futon, guys. Say bye bye futon. Yup, yup. Oh, it was a good futon while it lasted. <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure if you guys know it or not, but I have gotten an actual real bed. Uh, but um, I need to start thinning things out um, throughout the house. And the, it was just way too big in here anyway for what was going on. So now that I've got a real bed, I can get rid of the futon, which I did. We have interesting times ahead of us. Believe me. So right now, oh, that's what I should do too. I should freaking do that. Are you guys ready for like a huge deal on Hellmouth merch? Because I, I, need, I need to liquidate. We need to liquidate today. What? What? Oh my gosh, we only have three red shot glasses left. Wow. Good thing I didn't drop those. They would have went down in numbers. Uh, we have three red shot glasses left. We have several black and orange. Oh, okay, we've got four. I'm sorry. Oh, we got one purple too. I'll talk about the purple one here in a second. And then we've also got green shot glasses. We still have two USB scare video laser ballpoint pens. Um, we have some ballpoint regular pens. I'm ready to make you guys the freaking deal. Oh, and we've got glow-in-the-dark Hellmouth keychains too. I forgot about that. Yeah, we have uh, a couple of keychains left. And we have the very last bottle of haunt sauce left also. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have to sit back and I have to think what I'm going to do with all this. Um, if you guys are interested in Hellmouth merch, post it down below, please. Um, I... I really need to get rid of this stuff, not just because it's collecting dust on the shelf, but because desperate times call for desperate measures, so I, I want to give you guys something back and with you guys helping me. So, okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. I'll, I'll figure something out, some kind of deal, but it, I'll probably do that tomorrow if you guys are interested. Meanwhile, I have to get back to the other job that I was working, and it is 8.30. It's going to be a long night. Wow, guys, look. It's dark outside. WTF? <laughs> I guess that happens. So I am headed home. All the physical laborers work is done for today. I had planned on stopping by Michael's, but uh, they are now closed. <laughs> so that's not going to happen because I do want to stop by Michael's and do the uh, 
the Halloween merch vlog from there. I think that would be really interesting. Um, I tend to try not to go to the stores until they have like everything out. I know a lot of people go there and it's like, oh my gosh, look at all the stuff they have and they don't have everything out yet. So I like to get the vlog to where they've got everything out. I know I've said that twice. I'm just accentuating the fact. <laughs> okay, I really want Taco Bell. I do not want to go home and cook. I'm sincerely thinking, oh man, I should just get, oh, I need to go this way. I should just get like Arby's, at least a semi-healthy. Ah, God dang it. Wow, look at the windshield. Woo! Oh my gosh, it's raining. No, it's not. Ha <laughs> I psyched you guys out. But soon enough, the weather's going to change and it will rain. I guarantee it. as soon as all the summer and back to school stuff is gone. Halloween is among us. I just told her to sit so that she knows something is up. Do you wanna go? Go sit! Get over there and sit down. Do you... <laughs> just get over there! What is your problem? I haven't even said anything yet. Buffy, do you want to go for a, do you want to go for, for a walk? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. You want to go for a walk? Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's go for a walk. It's 1018. Going for a walk at 1018 at night. So we were going to do COC. Hi, Buffy. Hi. I want to make sure to get you in the vlog today, right? Always awkward. Uh, I was going to do COC while I was walking, and then I thought to myself, you guys really don't want to hear me pant. Speaking of dogs. So, facial scrub. Make sure the hair is, like, all not totally messy. And, um, oh, my gosh, I can't read tonight. Why can't I read? Oh, I don't, my, I don't, I, I don't have my spectacles in. It's okay. We'll try to make this work anyway. First comer of the night, Jolson, I still win. Hey, Zeus, where to go? I win second. Greta Boss, first Canuck. <laughs> and that Barb girl, Greta Boss, go Team Canada. <laughs> I love you guys. It's so awesome. Steven Nelson, high five Hellions. Great day with family. Absolutely, high five. Oops. Sorry, that doesn't really work too well with the camera, does it? Carrie Ann Olsen. I think those balloons are one of the things I sent Phoenix. I believe that you were right. I'm glad that he likes them. They make white ones that look like ghosts, but they're hard to find. Ooh, that would have been cool. Mill Pond Fright Night is so fun to play with things that glow. I don't think you ever outgrow that. No, absolutely not. I love it. It's awesome. Halloween Mischief. Oh my God, you did not give Backstreet Boys credit for an In Suck song. Ah, uh, I guess I did. See, well, I mean, that's just good that I don't actually know because that would mean that I know and I don't know. So that's a good thing. Smiley Time Studios. By the way, this is Adam, a.k.a. Whirlybird Productions. I'm changing my business name to Smiley Time Studios. Oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know. The Energized. Hey, Troy, Fuzzy Boy, and Buffy. Haven't watched for a while. Sorry, I've been pretty busy lately. Wow, Phoenix has gotten so tall and you're looking great too, Troy. I'm genuinely happy for you, Troy. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. Jesse, you're careful with those helicopter things. They can hit your thumb and hurt pretty bad. Speaking from experience here. Yeah, I learned how to do it right because I had that problem too. I hit my thumb and you're right. It, it hurts like a something bad. Baldy Jack, cool balls, Troy. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I think. Adam S., how does Spirit Halloween steal from haunters? Confused and what do you mean? Um... It is alleged, gotta cover my ass here, 
that, um, well, I mean, and, and it's happened to me too. Um, my specific experience, I submitted something to, it was like a, a Everyday Edison's website that uh, Spirit was looking for new products. So I submitted something to him. My blood, my skull blood fountain, my skull blood fountain, yeah, years ago that, I, that I'd that i made. That was like one of my very, very first Halloween props that I ever made. And I submitted it to him. And they came back and said, oh, sorry, it's not good enough. You know, we're not looking at blah, whatever. And then three years later, it appears on their freaking shelves in their store. No compensation. Thank you very much. And it hasn't just happened to me. It's happened to numerous amounts of haunters because we're so willing to, you know, show how we do things. That's what we do as haunters. And it's just unfortunate that some people have to capitalize on that and not, um, not give back. Oh, guys, my computer is tripping out big time. The power plug is broken on it, so I have to, like, wiggle it. That's why sometimes the vlog uh, is not up, is because my computer runs out of battery life, and it's essentially not plugged in, so then the vlog is up late. Okay, uh, last comment of the night, Joseph Blau. Great vlog, Troy. Thanks, I needed this. You are absolutely welcome. Happy haunting, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I want to try and figure out stuff with the merch. If you guys want merch and you're, you're uh, truly, sincerely, you, you want it, then let me know. I'm thinking about doing, like, packages of like just about everything and then um you know offering it for a price uh including shipping to the continental u.s so if that's something that you guys are interested in again make sure you guys are open all the way not playing tricks on me uh post it down in the comments all right guys again happy haunting see you tomorrow thanks for watching this is diablo and phil we're at mhc in the haunters hangout booth happy haunting <laughs>